All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So happy Independence Day for those that are American or um, you're aware of it. July 4th is Independence Day, and so I live here in America and wanted to just quickly give that as a shout out. But that got me thinking and I was reminded today of uh, freedom and essentially not just freedom uh, in the uh, physical sense uh, being here in this country, but really freedom in Christ. And I've been talking about this a lot, and this message is going to resonate for many people, but for others, it's going to be um, either something you don't agree with, or it's something that uh, it's just not going to click for you. And so I just wanted to give that warning, that caveat. And so uh, this can go one of many directions, but I want to try to keep it as focused as possible. And when I talk about freedom in Christ right now, I'm talking about a season now where for so many years and so many decades, a lot of us in the religious sense, we've been oppressed and we've been living under a lot of rules, a lot of authority and people that essentially are controlling the minds and the hearts of people uh, just because they are older. They may feel like they have a title. They may feel like they're part of a bigger organization, a bigger, more powerful and more influential place. But sadly, a lot of these people, they're very rule based, very hypocritical, uh, very legalistic, and they rely on um, uh, twisting scripture and twisting different things to get people to think in a certain way, to act in a certain way and to grow and to mature and to uh, lead their life uh, down a certain path by taking certain steps, one, two, three, four, five, sequenced in the way they think is right for them. And for so many years, it's been, in some sense, uh, helping some people that may not have structure, but for other people, it's been hurting them because what God has been doing is he's been calling people individually to live their life the way that God had for them to uh, do a job, to do uh, work, to work a career, to do a certain thing, uh, to think a certain way as Scripture says, as God says, as the, as the Holy Spirit leads them. And because we've been so clouded by religious people, we've been clouded by so many uh, uh, people that just want to uh, exert their own theology, their power and things like that, um, as opposed to teaching them the way that they should think by how the Lord presses on their heart, the way that the Holy Spirit leads them. And I'm not saying that accountability, I'm not saying that uh, good teaching, good preaching, and being led by uh, wise counsel is bad. But what I'm saying is that we've skewed it, and a lot of people have uh, taken it so far that they don't even know some of these leaders and some of these people for so long. They have... Uh, 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 drifted apart from God. They've been, uh, they've been drifting and moving further away from living in, um, uh, in abiding in Jesus Christ the way that uh, God really wanted, uh, such that it's uh, not only rooted in Scripture, but spontaneous, that you're open to making sure that God leads you uh, without being so anchored on you know, years and years of, of ways that you think is how the world operates because you observed it once, you've seen it written in a book because, you know, two or three of your favorite, you know, mentors or respectable people have said it to be this way. And everybody has learned one or two, three things, and then they make a conclusion and they think, oh, this is how it works. It's where it works best to do it this way to be uh, evangelizing and reaching out and to be growing and to, to do it uh, in this structured way, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, whatever it is. And they've been so caught up in that, that they've scaled it and they've um, widened that to such a degree that it's actually poisoned and, and have, has hurt a lot of people. And so I just want to remind you guys that for those, and again, this is for a certain special group, right? For those that are really seeking and abiding in him, that you have to be careful for the religious spirit, this, this um, le uh, leaven of the Pharisee, right? And all these people that have been out there for so long, trying to dictate, trying to control, but these people uh, don't have a firm understanding of how um, the Holy Spirit works, of how God is really uh, drawing people 
Uh, yeah, not just in theology, because so many people, they know their stuff. They know, you know, um, how to interpret, um, how to do their exegesis of Scripture and all these things. But God is moving and he's always fluid, uh, but he's always consistent with the word. But bec because people are so focused on what they believe is best instead of what God believes is best for a certain person, it's gotten people to be stuck and it's stifled people. And so for those that are listening, I want to encourage you guys as much as I've been in that boat where a lot of people have stifled me and told me what to do and this is how it should work. And because I was young or I was, you know, ignorant or I just thought that I didn't know better and even uh, sometimes where my relationship with Christ was not good, I just took that advice. Uh, but what really should be happening is first and foremost, your identity in Christ, your relationship with uh, Christ and your position uh, before God has to be strong first, such that you get the discernment, you get uh, what's needed for you. And then if that consequently involves wise counsel around you and how to interpret and how to um, uh, glean in that, I'm not saying you should just ignore everybody that speaks into your life, right? But because you have a foundation, you have a structure, from there you aren't wavered. And just because somebody has a title of, you know, spiritual leader or whatever it is, and just because they're world renowned, um, uh, and I'm not trying to get into arrogance or pride here, but once you have that identity, then all these things that bounce into your life, you're able to better discern and better uh, take that in such that you can make that decision confidently between you and God. Because so many people, because they feel like they're weak, they feel like they don't know anything, they just listen to anybody willy-nilly. And what God is doing in this time is to free you from that, to free you from the religious, the, the pharisaical mindset, such that you can be thriving the way God wants you to thrive. And because you have seen it work this way, you think you have to go to school to do this, to get trained up, you have to you know, spend a couple of years praying, doing this and that. Um, you think a ministry doesn't have to be in a certain way, uh, online or not online or whatever it is. There's so many things right now. And God is working through all of this through all of um, different mediums and, and uh, methods. And he's shaken a lot of things up right now so that you can wake up and you can see for yourself how much people were trapped in this religious, this pharisaical, this legalistic mindset. And if you're one of those people that's contributed to it, and I know many people watch, many people that are, you know, um, claimed as uh, spiritual leaders, theologians, or whatever, you got to really take a deep look and, and ask yourself if you're advocating for a religious, pharisaical, a Sadducee type of mindset, because it's running rampant right now, and it's turning a lot of people off, and it's getting people to be stuck and to really have a bad negative impression of um, Christianity, thinking it's a religion as opposed to a relationship with Christ. And so if you are in that, I would consider you to just come before the Lord and ask him, man, am I religious in my nature? Uh, and to repent and to really change from that uh, so that you can be free as well from, from that. Uh, and for others that are just growing and trying to understand and get a grasp of how to move, how to up, uh, upgrade, how to just elevate yourself to the next level spiritually, the one thing, like I said, is you got to get rooted first in Christ. And then from there, because um, you're so uh, fixated on him, when other people come with titles, and I've personally myself had hundreds and thousands of people come into my life. Many people, they say good and wise things. I take it in. Many people, they say they have titles in this and they've been, you know, Christian for 50 years and whatever it is that they say as a prelude. But yet in my spirit, when I discern it, it just seems off, right? And so that's why right now God is heightening and wanting to uh, elevate you to um, a level that isn't just uh, a top-down structure, that isn't just, oh, the pastor said this and this book said this, so I'm just going to take it and go. Because a lot of people, they've established and have um, said a lot of things that were cultural, that were, uh, um, you know, just habits that aren't necessarily... Uh, doctrine or, or the best thing, but it was just one preference. And people take that, they run with it, and they think that that's how you got to do something, right? There's so many books, there's so many sermons, there's so many videos out of those things, but you have to check yourself. You have to re-evaluate um, uh, constantly and say, man, is this 
A, uh, based on scripture, but also, Lord, is there something that is just a changing need, a changing preference, and how do I adapt to that? So that's what I mean by freedom in Christ. You have to be free in him. You have to be free so that you're not trapped by this religious spirit, but you're being led by him in doing ministry and, and moving and activating in whatever life activity you have to do, right? And so that's why you have to set yourself just apart in that way and just uh, abide in him and just be um, so joyful, so happy that you have him more than anybody else. And that way, if you are um, rooted like that and you have that anchor and that foundation in him, when you go about life, it doesn't matter, um, you know, what people say, who um, gives you that opinion, no matter how uh, good of an argument somebody gives you, how well packaged and how, how smooth someone talks to you. If you are hearing from the Lord, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, then you won't be wavered because God will give you something. He will lead you in a certain way. You'll be happy. You'll be joyful. You won't be trapped in a way of um, self-deprecation, second uh, guessing yourself and just saying, man, uh, am I a Christian because I did this or did that? And because this person said this and that person said that, you're going to be spinning your tail. You're going to be going crazy if you do it that way. So that's why you have to have joy. You have to have uh, a relationship, an authentic one uh, in him so that when you're free in him and you are abiding in him in that way, then you, you will have that freedom in him. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys, remind you guys of this. Uh, once again, I've been talking about it many times, but because we're in a time now where God wants to free us from a religious, from a pharisaical, from a legalistic mindset, and to really unite the church, to unite the body, to upgrade people, to elevate people to the next level of spiritual uh, awakeness, right? And, and spiritual maturity. And so um, keep going, guys. Uh, be encouraged. God bless you guys. Um, happy 4th. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. God bless.